a circuit from a very good quality tone control that also handles volume, loudness and high frequencies. I made this preamp here because I uh, published um, this audio and amplifier from 5 up to 6, sorry, sorry to 8 watt. And I use in that uh, amplifier a pre-amplifier with tone correction. I publish a circuit uh, today but I use copyrighted content so I have to publish it again with not copyrighted content anyway. Doesn't, uh, doesn't matter. I pan over the circuit I hope I can hold my camera steady so that it doesn't constantly zoom in and out. Uh, the end amp here works on 40 volts, so I had to find an adaptation to make the preamp work on 12 volt, and that was done, done very simple by a voltage divider here. They get a little bit warm. But anyway, no problem. Here is that. Uh, here is that resistor. That is the 5K6, and here is. Here are the other two resistors here. 2K9, all power resistors. Uh, in fact, it's an audio amplifier. Where I have made a loudness control here with a one microfarad non polar cap, and the volume control here. And the high frequencies are taken out here at the input and sent back to the end amplifier here. And you can align them, change the amount of high frequencies by changing the value from this, ca this uh, potentiometer. And this sets the overall uh, amplification from the sec uh, second stage, the transistor stage I mean. So many non-polar caps are used, that's important to tell. Let's play some music. Uh, volume control. High control. Control from the output level from the end amplifier, and here is the real uh, volume control. Loudness. So when you um, sorry set the output level to a low volume. This capacitor gets active, one microfarad non-polar, and it creates a very deep, warm sound at the input here. And the type of sound can be aligned here by the 10k pot meter, but at the same time we send some high frequencies also to the output. And this potentiometer aligns the level and in fact it aligns the amplification from the BC547B. So it's quite coarse, very coarse aligning. But anyway you can need that to um, give 
a certain sound, a certain sound pattern in your application where you want to use this circuit. In your room um, or the tennis field or whatever, whatever. So you can uh, produce a very balanced sound on whatever location. And sorry for all the zooming in and out. I can't help that. That's my camera. <laughs> 